Let's talk about electric cargo bikes. This Velotrek has 52 miles of range, 440 pound payload. It can go 25 miles per hour. I purchased this amazing bike used on Facebook Marketplace and it had all the dimensions that I really wanted to haul my kids around. Cargo bikes are amazing for their versatility and this e-bike is no exception. It's got so many cool things about it for hauling kids around or cargo. A couple of things I've already figured out about cargo bikes is they are heavier. So even though it has hydraulic brakes, you have to plan your stops. And when kids get on and off, make sure you hold the bike very, very steady. As my kids are getting older and heavier, I needed something to push them around the neighborhood on the bike trails faster. So the e-bike was where I had to go. And one side benefit in Florida, if you're going faster than the mosquitoes, that's always a bonus. A couple of cool things about this Velotrek is that it does have a two year warranty and it's UL certified. So the battery and all the electronics are certified by UL, which is a big electrical certification process they have to go through. That UL certification is very important. You wanna stick with a certified bike versus something that is a cheap Chinese knockoff. You don't want any accidents with your batteries. A couple other tips I wanted to let you guys know is, of course, always wear your helmet. And when you go past other pedestrians and cyclists, especially people with dogs, try to go slow. You don't want to scare people because these e-bikes can go really fast. Now I hooked the trailer up to it and we have a burly uh, full suspension trailer that my daughter rides in. And it is really cool to be able to pull this. Plus I put two kids on the back. So this thing is really a beast. It can really haul stuff. It's kind of like a pickup truck on the bike trail. It had no problem at all pulling my kids. I will say try to keep it below 20 miles per hour when you're pulling kids. Um, even though this bike can go much faster, it does get a little sketchy. And of course, you don't want any accidents with your kids. So we try to always play it safe. If you guys are ever in Central Florida, this area is called Dunellen, which is west of Ocala, and it's a really, really beautiful place. A lot of people call it horse country, which there's a lot of pastures around here. And we also have one of the largest uh, bike trails in Florida that's over 53 miles long. Now, some other notable features about this bike is it has a 26 inch tall front wheel, which is 2.4 inches wide, and then it's got a three inch wide wheel in the back that's only 20 inches tall, which kind of gives you really good height for that bike rack to, to put the kids on. It's got bamboo running boards and it's got a rack in the front that has a little bamboo tray in it. Uh, it takes about three hours to fully charge it. I'm amazed at how efficient this bike was even towing a trailer. We went about 20 miles today and it probably only used about 20 to 30 percent of the battery which is amazing it says it can go 51 miles doing pedal assist i don't use the throttle at all which it does have a throttle but i just like to do pedal assist to try to get some exercise with it with four piston hydraulic disc brakes this bike is really strong on stopping but i will tell you that it's going to go through those pads pretty quick because you're hauling a lot of weight around you know 75 pounds with the bike and then another say with my daughter probably another 100 pounds behind me that's a lot of weight it is a good looking bike i'm really happy with the styling of it i think it's one of the best finished bikes as far as fit and finish goes 
It's kind of like the apple of e-bikes, I think. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you guys have any questions about e-bikes or electronics or anything electric vehicle related, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer every question you guys have. Also, if you have future video ideas, please let me know. Thank you.